can start this time then. Um, yeah, it's been a great, uh, fantastic tour for us this time. Um, as always, <laughs> we can say it's the third time we're here and uh, we keep growing and uh, the halls get bigger and the fans are getting more of them and uh, everybody's accepted us extremely well. So um, that's my expression, uh, impression this time. We were a little bit nervous in the beginning of this tour because we were doing the whole Paradox show in one shot and the uh, production was bigger and everything, you know, so we, we didn't know how the fans will react to that. And um, it, it worked out and we were very pleased with the results. Um, I was extremely pleased um, with the results. We had a great time. Um, Japan has always been fantastic to us, the fans, and um, uh, the way we're treated. Uh, the production, as Andre was saying, was so much fun as far as um, all the costume changes and the lights and the scenery. And I liked my big king's chair and uh, had a great time. And uh, we're already looking forward to coming back next time. Yeah, what can I say? Um, we already knew <coughs> that, uh, that this is our third tour, and when we recorded Paradox, that this tour was going to be something else. Uh, bigger production and um, it's it's been a great tour and uh, I can't wait to go back again next year. We uh, took this guy, which whatever you call him, and and, uh, and put him from uh, from a different for the different situations, uh, which is pretty normal to us, like on a daily basis, you know, Dave. and. Um, and this guy's supposed to be somebody like, I don't know, we can call him like the Jesus. You know? Because it was, it was kind of interesting situation, you know, as we said, like Jesus died for other scenes for, for 2,000 years ago. And uh, so we put him for the same routine again 2,000 years later. On the, so he can discover nothing changed, basically. So the sacrifice was like nothing. It's a basic like storyline, if you could say something like that, and, um, and it's a lot of details there. You know, I can sit, I can sit and talk here about this this album for like a, a couple of hours. You know. No, it's, it sounds better this time, I think, than it did on all the other albums. So uh, we could we turn it a little bit more up, I think, in this mix of paradise. Uh, I don't know. It's basically it's a question of production. You know, you're not mm -hmm. thinking about you will feature more guitar on this album or more symbols or something like that. It's something that just like happens, and uh, you're just writing and recording the songs, and then later on when sitting and mixing, you know, it's like it comes natural. I was really pleased with um, what had happened on the Paradox album. Um, with my vocals. I'm very happy to the point that I've got to um, with my ability and my range. Um, you know, before I think, uh, you know, I was always kind of maybe trying to go for that high range all the time just to show everybody, hey, let's see how high I can get whenever all along basically I have the ability for the low tones. And um, I think it's, I think it's kind of in a way I'm, I'm happy with it because I feel like I'm, I'm maturing as a vocalist. And I'm learning and, and constantly, and I know I've learned a lot working with, with Royal Hunt, and especially with Andre in the studio. Um, it's, it's, him and I have a great time in the studio. He, he, he does put, I guess, call it a little bit of a fire underneath my butt to kind of try different things. And um, it's a little bit more stylistic, and I'm extremely happy with it. And I believe probably, um, I mean, I've been looking for a particular... I guess trademark voice of my own for many many years and uh, I think possibly I found it at least I feel I have and uh, yeah you, you're probably hearing something you know along the same lines I, I like going down into the deeper end of things because it's a little bit more soulful you know, I have a little bit more soul to it and uh, plus I have the ability to hit the high ranges and you know I like being able to bounce back and forth well, uh, <clears throat> every album is, di is different from each other, you know, to how you prepare yourself and how you 
practice at home or what do you do and this time uh, we had a new drama in the, in the session and of course I had to practice with him so I, I this was difficult uh, different for me this time you know I had to to stand with the new drama from yeah, I think we had a month where we practice uh, the songs before he recorded anything uh, Alan and um, at that time of course I worked with the bass parts at home too and uh, I don't know if that's if I have anything specific on that album, you know, maybe I play some small solos around or some bass parts on the album. I think that's maybe a little bit different from Moving Target, at least. So, yeah, that's basically it. I'm very pleased with it and it was fun recording. Very fast this time. I like that. No, no sitting for several weeks to do things. <laughs> that's not good. It's not only on the tour, it was also on the recording. <laughs> uh, yeah, but he's different, of course he's different, that's why uh, you have to try to, every b person is there, every drummer is different, you know, how is he swinging, how is he hitting the, the, the drums, you know, and Alan is very powerful and very, you know, say, I don't know if you can say square, but very, you know, everything is on the beat all the time. And uh, maybe Kenneth didn't have that feel that much, you know, so... And you kind of adapt to Kenneth for several years, seven or eight years, so it took me a while to figure out, hey, this is not, you know, uh, the way we used to do. So, uh, but it was fun, you know, we, we stuck, I think we had a month before Alan recorded anything and uh, practiced some songs, that was good for both of us. We're it, not takes, drunk. Uh, it takes it's many not. years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, basically, I mean, it's uh, it's not that much. No. We have a, a, a couple of a couple of drinks before going on stage. It's just like to in the mood. It comes with the joking backstage. You know, we joke a little and have a drink and get fired up for the show. And you have to try to lighten up a little bit, and you know, because yeah. at times you can you get nervous, and uh -huh. you know maybe that is a little bit of our. <coughs> crutch that we like to have a drink but it's mm -hmm. something that's you know if you're in a nervous situation anybody if they're in a nervous situation they're going to do something before to try to relax a little mm -hmm. bit but we don't we don't come out so we don't like we don't like sit and drink there yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah okay, don't, after the show maybe but uh, not before the show you no, can't we don't. play this kind of music if you're drunk we tried a couple of times <laughs> and it's not working, no, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun and uh, it was fun playing with such a big production. Um, we enjoyed it and we hope to be back really soon. Thank you. Ah, kiwa, domori gato, aishitimasu Japan. Fantastic tour and I uh, want to thank all the fans uh, for all the presence and the support and just basically and mainly the enthusiasm that they show. Um, we really appreciate um, how kind everyone is to us whenever we're here. And uh, can't wait to come back. I already uh, work. We have a long tour ahead of us, so this was a good start to to get a good, uh, a real good start on the tour. And uh, we appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you very soon. Arigato. The recording of Paradox was very. I don't know if I can say like nice experience for us. It was it was great to record this album. We liked it very much, and then preparing for a tour and going on tour. So for us, it's kind of like we had like sharing something which we created uh, like for weeks and weeks and weeks. And when you can see people appreciate it, it's it, it's great. I mean, it's the best feeling you can get. And we just we just saw it in this five concert uh, concerts we play in Japan here. So thank you very much for that. Hello Japan, <laughs> uh, I just want to say thanks for this time and uh, you got us fired up for the next couple of months and uh, it's always a pleasure for us to be here and uh, I'm really looking forward to see you all again. Bye bye. <laughs>